Hey y'all, Matt Hepworth here, and I'm just going to do a quick video comparing Studio One with uh, Rosetta processing versus Studio One with the M1 native support that Personas just released. So I have Studio One regular version pulled up here, and let me show you how you can tell which version you're running. So if we go to Activity Monitor, and then we're going to Enable Kind, then you might not see anything. It appeared on the right here, so we'll stretch that over. So kind Studio One, we click that, shows that it's Intel. That proves that this is the Rosetta version. And uh, so we're sure we're doing the right thing here. Um, you can see the CPU's kind of doing a crazy thing on its own because I have a really loaded session pulled up here with uh, multiple plugins on all channels. Um, well, not multiple plugins on all channels, but plugins on all channels, multiples on some. And uh, every track is record enabled. So that is um, 27 total inputs. Some of these are stereo, which is why we don't see 27 tracks. And... Uh, I've got the green Z on, so that's going to give us that hybrid engine. And then if we pull up the settings here really quick, we can see that I'm at 16 samples, 44.1 kilohertz, and uh, we're, you know, 1.27 milliseconds of latency, if my math is right, at uh, 3.30 in the morning here. Um, anyway... So here's, here's everything. Just going to toggle that off, and we're just going to record all tracks, and we'll record it for about 30 seconds, then I'll punch it in and out, and we'll just make sure that there's no craziness happening. So that CPU meter, kind of a strange behavior. Yeah, maybe 10, maybe we'll just go to like 15 bars, then I'll punch in and out a few times and make sure nothing drop out, drops out. Out, in, out, and in, in, scroll around a little bit. Yeah, so everything looks good there. And uh, CPU anywhere from 55 to pegged. So now let's pull up. Uh, I'm just going to go quit Studio One. And I actually have them. Uh, I'm not going to save any changes here. We'll go ahead and delete those files because they're useless. And uh, Studio One should disappear from the list there. There it goes. So that one's closed. So I have a co-installation and all I did was renamed one to dot rose for Rosetta and the other to uh, dot m1 for the m1 version. So now let's open that one. Seems to open a little more snappily. Don't need that manual update. Open the same session here. And let's flip over to Activity Monitor. And in there, come on, Studio One. Oh, see, there's something interesting there. So this Studio One hosts is uh, just launched. And it looks like it's triggered from some of the Waves plugins. Where is Studio One? And there's Studio One. We can see now it's Apple instead of Intel. So we're confirming this is the M1 version. There we go. So yeah, this is because some of those plugins, and probably most of the plugins, are not M1 compatible natively yet. So those are kind of being wrapped, which means Rosetta is involved. So interestingly, notice how we are pegged on the CPU. And uh, this is the exact same session. Let's just double check our settings. 
Yeah, everything the same. We're showing the same latency, everything like that. So we'll do the same thing, about 15 bars. And it's not unlike M1 to give me this kind of behavior. I've experienced that pegged CPU meter uh, a few times. But what's interesting, and I'll show you in a second here, so we'll drop in and out, back in, out, back in, scroll around a little bit. Okay, and there we are, just pegged. But now let's, I'm just going to go to the mixer view really quick, and I'm just going to drop in a couple of plugins, and let's see what happens here. So that's an Angle Savage, pretty CPU intensive from Brainworks. And now we are 100% pegged at 100%. And what gets interesting, I can add that across another track. We'll see the recording kept up. It didn't actually drop out or anything. And uh, our CPU will climb well above that 100% mark. Kind of a weird thing. Drop one more in, see if it keeps going. Yeah, so obviously some redraw stuff, but nothing stopped recording. And so when we hit stop, we still have continuous files. So nothing was affected by that. And uh, the CPU is getting a, a lot harder workout now. So I don't know whether the metering is just inaccurate when it's in M1 native mode, because according to this, we're well above max, um, but it's still working just fine. So if we judge off the CPU, the Rosetta version is superior. But if we judge off performance, I don't really think that one is really better than the other right now. And probably one of the biggest factors is this guy. We have stuff that's just running in Rosetta, even though we're running M1 natively. Um, so until all that's resolved, this really won't show us any performance differences. Now, I did a really quick check uh, just with a few Personas plugins to see if most of those were M1 native and they appear to be. Um, but most of the stuff that I normally use is not. So not Fab Filter, not Waves. Um, you know, various things like that, not plug-in alliance as far as I know. We'll uh, have to just keep an eye on this. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.